This week, let's see if this clone can clone. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before I get started, as always, subscribe down below and hit that bell icon so you get my latest notifications. This week is another do-it-yourself pedal review coming from Pedal PCB. This one is their take on a Klon clone and it is called the Cliché Mini. It is the smaller brother of the Cliché and comes in this 125B case. Before we get into the Cliché Mini, I think it's probably worth saying that this is my third Klon clone build. In all cases, I've used germanium diodes, but I have one more here, which is my Abominal Overdrive. You can see this is the Abominal Mini. This is a wired on Vero board Klon clone, and I've also added a bass and treble knob splitting out from just the tone knob here. Additionally, I've played multiple other Klons. Uh, I have a Soul Food from EHX, and I also had an Archer that I just recently sold. So I have lots of experience with the Klon sound. Looking on the outside of the Cliché Mini, you're going to get three knobs, pretty standard for any Klon clone, your gain, your tone, and your volume. The only thing to know here is that your tone is really just a treble knob. You're not going to get those super bassy sounds when you turn that tone all the way down. Lastly, before we leave the outside of the case, uh, with pedal PCB and their 125B mounted effects boards, you're going to get top mounted jacks. So you can see here we have our input output top mounted and our DC supply also top mounted. I love that feature with all pedal PCB effects boards. Opening up the case, you're going to see that effects board from Pedal PCB. One thing to note on this one, like most clons, it's buffered bypass, so we don't have our pinout for our three-pole double throw switch. We're essentially just using two of the switches here, and the board takes care of the buffered bypass, which is great because I had to wire a buffered bypass in this guy, and it was not the nicest thing. It ended up being a huge rat's nest. Now I don't want to spend too much time on the inside of this board. I'm going to give you a quick look. What I really want to do is switch over to the documentation provided by PCB and we'll take a look at the circuit. So before I get started, I just want to say that a lot of this information has come from ElectroSmash. This site is great if you want to learn about a lot of the most popular pedals out there. They have anything from the Big Muff Pi to the Klon to the Tube Screamer. And if you're interested in learning more about these pedals, I definitely recommend this as a reference. I'm going to do my best using kind of what I've learned from Electro Smash and then just what I know off the top of my head. So let's take a look at the Cliché Mini Circuit. So we are in on the Cliché Mini schematic from Pedal PCB. Uh, I love how they provide these schematics with all of their builds. It's great for troubleshooting. The first thing we want to look at with the Cliché Mini is down in the lower right hand corner here where we see that all important TC1044 SCPA chip. This is essentially a chip used in many of the items from Pedal PCB as an internal voltage boost for your 9 volt source. What we're going to do is we're going to take that 9 volt input, we're going to bump it to 18 volts and use it as the rails for some of these op amps. So looking at the input of this effects pedal, we have everything leading into this active buffer to begin with. So our input signal comes in, we have some pull down and pull up resistors to make sure this voltage stays stable right in the center of our rails. And we're coming in through the positive terminal and out through the negative terminal. And all those, although this may look a little bit confusing, we can see that the negative terminal is attached to the output. So this is simply just a buffer. So an input active buffer here on the Cliché Mini as its first stage. One thing to note here is the output from the buffer is actually going to go all the way over to the output of the pedal. And that is when this is turned off, we're going to shunt S1, S2, and we're going to get a buffered bypass. So that's why most clons that you see are buffered bypass. The second stage of the Cliché Mini is really a op amp gain stage, mostly represented by IC12 in the photo, which is the second half of a TL072 op amp package. The first half of that would be used for the input active buffer. What's happening in this stage is two things. We're taking that buffered signal as the output from the first stage, sending it down here through this ladder network. We're also taking a copy of that and sending it through IC12 to boost the gain. Now, at the end, we're also going to put in some germanium diodes, the all-important germanium diodes, to ground to cause some hard clipping on the output of IC12. And then, 
as we move into the third stage of the Klon circuit or the Cliché Mini circuit, what we're going to do is take part of the buffered signal that was sent down through the ladder network and the buffered signal that was sent through IC12 and sum them in this third stage, which is the summing stage of the amplifier. The amount of which we sum is based on the gain potentiometer. It's a dual linear 100K gain potentiometer. And as we adjust it, it's going to adjust how much of that buffered signal through the ladder network goes into the summing amp, and then how much of that gain signal will be boosted into the summing amp. Now we already talked about the third stage, which would be represented by IC21. This would be our summing op amp. This is definitely one that uses the 18 volt rails because we want to have the increased headroom. Moving from the summing stage into the final stage or the fourth stage of the Klon Centaur or the Cliché Mini schematic, however you want to think about it, is our tone stage, which is represented by IC22 on the diagram. As I mentioned, the tone control for the Klon Centaur is really a treble control in that this is really an active high pass shelving equalizer. And I'm taking that directly from Electro Smash. Uh, I always called it just a shelving circuit, but they're calling it a shelving equalizer. In this case, with these configurations of resistors and capacitors, it's going to pass all frequencies up to 400 Hertz. And then frequencies above that point get boosted or cut based on how you dial in that tone potentiometer. Finally, not really another stage, but just our output is all through a volume potentiometer. It's 10K linear, and we have one leg of that attached to ground. So as we move this up and down, we're gonna get max level output or zero output equivalent to ground. Now that we know a little bit more about the Cliché Mini circuit or the Klon circuit, let's have a listen and a short demo to see how this overdrive stacks up.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that demo for the Cliché Mini Effects Board from Pedal PCB. I'm starting to get quite the backlog of pedals, so what I'm actually going to do for the first time is put this one up on Reverb. I'll link it down below, and if you're interested, you can pick this one up. It's going to be one of a kind at this point. I don't think I plan on building any more. I must say that I'm really impressed with this. I've said I've had uh, Soul Food, I've had an Archer, I've had another Klon clone. I think this one stacks up there right with all of them. So I'm very impressed with this one. If you guys are interested, definitely check it out on Reverb. That's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that breakdown of the circuit, the demo. Remember to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.